What everybody remembers is that one day he announced that, uh, he used the phrase that he was going to paint a rare green painting, because Bob talked like that, hmm. a rare green painting. And we thought that was very funny. We all laughed, and now we're continually talking about Bob and the rare green painting, too. Everything that's green becomes Bob's painting. We always call him Bob, and... Uh, Everybody call him Bob. Mr. Newman, sir. I, I can't imagine that Bob Newman would come up here for months on end, I mean, or certainly a couple, and not be working. Bob had a sense of humor, and I think he was, uh, it was important to him to have a sense of humor, because uh, some people, I guess, didn't recognize him as a great artist, and he... Um, this was a way for him to take a satirical stance. He was he was clever, and he was you know opinionated, very opinionated as any artist pretty much is. Um, but a wonderful sense of humor. Well, it was a great time. I mean, it's when it was when the art world was there wasn't really an art world. It was when everything was sort of happening. So it, New York was a really exciting place. <laughs> salvation for himself. He was a very nervous guy, smoked a lot, was not averse to drinking. Mm -hmm. And I think that painting had a huge amount to do with what he did to, I don't know the word, well, but save anxiety. his soul. Or, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And his evolution out of expressionism into what he, I don't know what it was called. I mean, he'd be called, I guess, a third generation expressionist. I like to paint loosely. So it was a watercolor it was I start, as I start, and then it has, grows a little bit. To have an oil painting, uh, historically, you got to have weight. And, you know, watercolor doesn't have much weight, and uh, the drawing doesn't have much weight. But painting, oil painting, historically, and even abstract or realistic or whatever, it has to have some weight from the pigment itself. That's, a, that's a, what attracts people to, to uh, oil painting. The, the, the bottom line is that, uh, you know, you either have a passion. Yeah. I, you know, I think talent is way overrated. It's not about talent at all. It's about, uh, if you can combine talent with passion, but yeah. if you've got passion to, to, yeah, passion to make big, things, big pieces, then you've got, yes. I think, way more than 80% uh, of what you have to have. So I built my own stretchers, I stretched my own canvas. So I painted every, almost every day of my life. And I t tell the people that, and they just keep walking by. And I said, geez, they don't even understand. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he was a, a, a person who had to have an audience. Okay. Um, but he enjoyed people who um, had respect for him yeah. um, as, an art, as an artist. Mm -hmm. And of course, he had a wonderful foundation and education in art, and was really quite knowledgeable. And what was up there was, it was fascinating. Is this art class or not? <laughs> 